all of us, politicians included, me included, need every resource we can get to see how we can strengthen our family life. And this resource that you're about to see is one such aid, a help to us in grappling with the problems, the pressures that are placed on family life. So I really commend it to you and I hope that it will have a huge impact because although governments and parliament can play its part, most of what needs to be done to preserve the family has to begin in the heart and in our own homes. goes like this because uh, Sam my eldest is teaching me about faith and it goes like this I come home from work I open the back door this poor mother doesn't get this experience but I get it because I'm Mr Entertainment <laughs> mum is miss Mrs caring you know unfortunately we're together mum is caring dad is entertainment so I'm the hero at the moment it's not fair I know it's not fair I already know that, OK. Open the door, and, of course, I'm celebrity. The fastest one reaches me first to Sam. He's six. He jumps on me, I catch him, I put a hand underneath each armpit, and I go, Whoa! like that, and I can really throw him, and he goes. And, um, I mean, he really goes. It's getting harder now, he's 17. But he gets... <laughs> yeah. So, chuck him up in here, he goes. He's up there, and then he starts to return to me. He meets that moment of weightlessness, and now he's coming back down to me. Are you ready? And I catch him. Now, on the way down, he's going to me, more, because he wants the next go. He's so alive, not like his dad. He's so alive, he's living the moment to its full capacity. You know how you say to a kid, oh, Christmas is in three weeks, and it nearly kills them. <laughs> because they live in the now, and he's living in the now. And it would never, never occur to this child that his dad might drop him. And then I think I've got something to teach him about faith. How dare I? Me, master of the mortgage. Master of mortgage anxiety, <laughs> who think that my son's got something to learn off me about faith. That child is so utterly trusting that when I tell him that God loves him, he believes it in a way that I've lost years ago. I told the story about genuflecting in the cinema. One elderly lady came up to me and she said, I did something much worse than that, she said. And when she told me, I said, Alma, I'm going to make you famous all over the country. <laughs> this is so lovely. This is so Catholic. She's just getting on a bus in Derby. And she went up to the Hindu bus driver and put her hand in the used tickets and went like this. <laughs> <laughs> See? And, uh, you know, if, if, you, if, you, if... I mean, that's kind of scary Catholic, all right? Um, you know, you can always spot Catholics. Uh, I don't know what it is about them. But anyway, so uh, the, the reason that I just tell that story is really if, if you just stay at that level, you know, it, at one level, you, you, you're not progressing. And baptism was supposed to mark a start in our lives, a new leaf, if you like, to put it into contemporary culture, starting afresh, but it was supposed to mark a change that had happened and was a mark of a change which will continue to happen, OK? It wasn't just a party 